Mother's Milk Bank is an opportunity to provide something back. There you go. They were there when we needed them. We were in the hospital with you. You guys had her in the NICU because mm -hmm. it just, it really brought home the value that this brings and how how good it is for a baby. She started out pretty rough. She slept pretty much that whole first 24 hours. She was not waking up. She was in the NICU for about three days or so. Um, and during that time, even though I was pumping, my milk hadn't come in yet. Mother's Milk Bank has been working to help provide safe, pasteurized donor human milk to babies across the United States since 1984. And the mission is to help serve medically fragile premature infants. It provides their first food and it's also medicine for them. After about the first week to two weeks, she just started waking up and she learned how to latch. We were pumping to the hills from day one, so I ended up with overproduction and then started donating as well. I found out like a month before I was going to go back to work that my son wouldn't take any of the milk and I didn't know what to do with it. So I got in touch with the lactation consultant and she strongly recommended donating milk. I had a freezer full. At Mother's Milk Bank, we try to make it as easy as possible and we are there every step of the way. The first step is a screening that takes about 15 minutes. Is this a good time for you? After the phone interview, a donor is then eligible. We send an email out which has a donor screening form. And the donor screening form is just a more comprehensive health history form. Next steps are getting consent forms, which is a provider form from the donor's provider, and a consent form from the donor, and then a pediatrician will sign the baby form. The donor will be doing those forms while also doing some blood work. There's no cost to the donor for any of these steps. If a donor calls after the loss of her baby, then we have a process that we go through with her to honor her baby. It's called the Perpetual Grace Aspen Memorial Tree. And on this tree, we have leaves with her baby's name and date of birth. And we think about their moms who donated in their honor to help save babies across the United States. Collection and storage is a big component of making sure that the milk is as safe as possible for the babies who receive it. And so what that looks like is following manufacturer's guidelines for cleaning and sterilizing pump parts, as well as using good hand washing and hygiene and washing pump parts after every use. They send me free milk bags, which is great. It's streamlined. It's very, very easy. For donors who live in the Metro Denver area, we can send a courier to their home. Another way to get milk to the milk bank is to ship it from home if a donor lives outside of the Metro Denver area. And we send a box with a cooler in it and a prepaid shipping label. Another option of getting milk to Mother's Milk Bank is to take it to a donation and outreach center. There are donation centers across the United States. I'll you know, take my morning pump or my evening pump and just bag that, put it in the freezer, and then when that builds up, I just drive it over to the hospital and it's so easy. Just by talking to the families that are recipients of this milk, it really hits home for me how meaningful it is to them that donors across the country have chosen Mother's Milk Bank as a steward of this gift. It's pure liquid gold, so there's no, no way I'm getting rid of that any other way. It really helped us to stay on the course that we wanted to be on. <laughs> that it's worth it. It was so worth it. <laughs>